Seriously, I have to pee again. One minute. Okay. I like just peed five minutes ago. I feel like it's never ending. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For all things mommy, wife, and life, my name is Chessa. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 33 week baby update. If you are new, I am currently 34 weeks pregnant with baby number two. So I'm going to be sharing with you what went down on week 33. So let's hop into it. I've been so much more tired this week. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just like I have a sleep deficit I need to catch up on or what, but I have just been so tired this last week. I don't know if it's burnout, but I'm just exhausted. So I have been listening to my body and I have not been staying up later to like do work like I normally do. I've just been kind of going to bed with my daughter at like nine o'clock. And lately my daughter has been waking up super early as well. So I can't even wake up early to get my work done either. So I've just been kind of sleeping in in the morning too until like 6 a.m. <laughs> Cause normally I wake up at five if you guys didn't know that, fun fact. This might be coinciding with the tiredness, but I have had a headache for three days straight now. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Maybe my sleep schedule's all messed up. I still have heartburn. It's all the time, pretty much. Um, I've been popping so many times. I'm probably going to a stick of chalk any day now. And congestion is still a real thing. I still have like a runny nose, constantly blowing my nose throughout the day. I'm not complaining, just letting you guys know. It does get annoying after a while, but I've just kind of gotten used to it. I'm hoping that as soon as the baby pops out, my runny nose and heartburn are gonna go away. Wishful thinking? I've also been doing this like super weird double sneeze in the morning. I am a normally like a one sneeze kind of girl. Like if I sneeze, it's just one time and then I'm done. But lately every morning I've been double sneezing. So I'll just do a, a choo, a choo, like right after each other like i won't even be able to get like a second breath in and then i'm done sometimes i've been sneezing the same double sneeze like a few times in the morning but then i don't know what, what the deal is but it's it's all done after that and I, I don't sneeze again the rest of the day until the following morning allergies pregnancy who knows <laughs> I still have a super itchy belly. I have noticed that this has been heightened when I wear like the over the belly pants or leggings. So if you're having the same problem, maybe just continue wearing those for a little bit and kind of go with the more like under the belly ones. That seems to help me a lot with my itchiness. Again, still itchy because baby's stretching out so much. At least I know it's a little bit less itchy when I don't wear the over the belly items. I did have another ultrasound this week. My doctor was saying that she was a little bit concerned because I wasn't gaining enough weight. I only gained seven pounds so far. I started off at like 185 and I weighed 192 at my last appointment. So she was kind of concerned that I wasn't gaining enough weight, which I don't know how that happened because last time I was gaining weight just fine. I packed on at least 30 pounds in my last pregnancy and I don't know what I'm doing different with this one because my last pregnancy, no joke, I was exercising like at least five days a week. I, I don't really know if I was like dieting per se, but I definitely, I don't think I was watching what I was eating, but I, I'm sure I was eating you know, healthier. But this time around, I have not been really good with exercising and I'm not watching what I eat. Like I'm trying to eat healthy, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened, but I only gained seven pounds this time. In, in my first trimester, I did actually lose weight. So I started out at 185, but I did drop weight and then I like went back. So maybe that's why the number seems so different because I actually started at 185, went down to like 180 and then came back up. So. Maybe it's a little different as far as weight gain goes in that aspect, I don't know. But when I did go in for the ultrasound, they said everything looked good. Baby was weighing about four pounds, which is completely average, which is great. And the baby's growing just fine. So I'm super happy to report that. I got my letter from my doctor to start my maternity leave. She recommended that I start earlier this time because last time I went up right to the very end. She was saying it was a good idea to kind of go on maternity leave earlier. So that way I can kind of like quarantine a little bit before baby gets here. I thought that was a good idea just because I have been hearing a lot that if you do get COVID, they will separate you from the baby. So I definitely do not want that to happen. So I will most likely start my maternity leave in two weeks around March 10th. So I'm really excited about that because I get to have some me time, which I never get. And I also get to be able to prep for baby and I get to tackle a lot of things on my to-do list that I need to do, which I feel like I have no time to do. Also, it's been really hard for me to sit and stand for long periods of time. I've noticed that like I am a lot more in pain, like when I sit for a long period of time and then I get up to walk, I notice that like my kind of like my pelvic 
and hip bones are like really tight. It doesn't really agree with me to sit down or stand for long periods of time. I kind of have to do both, but I am at a desk job, so I am pretty much sitting all day long, which is kind of hard for me, and I'm afraid that I'm gonna get like hemorrhoids if I keep sitting down so long. <laughs> I've also had like these really random like knee twitches, like I don't know, like muscle spasms kind of in my right knee, pregnancy related or random. I don't know, just kind of thought I'd mention it. Also, I'm hungry all the time. I will eat in the morning around like five or 6 a.m. and then I'm hungry again at like nine or 10. I'm also, and then I'm hungry again at noon, when, like 12.30 when I eat lunch and then I, I'm hungry after I'm done with lunch. After I'm done with lunch, I'm still hungry and I'm drinking tons of water, you guys. And I'm still eating like normal portions. So I really don't know what's going on, but I am constantly hungry. I did read somewhere that your metabolism is just in overdrive, so that could be an issue. That could be why I'm always hungry as well. And maybe my body's saying, "Hey, you lost weight. You're not gaining enough weight. Like, let's eat some more so we can pack on those pounds, make baby all cute and fat." But I know it's not from lack of water intake because I've been chugging water like crazy, which means I'm also peeing constantly. But I should just have like a toilet at my desk so that way I can just continue to drink water and pee as I go. So I feel like I'm always getting up to pee. Baby girl is having parties at 2 a.m. and other random times. Thought I wasn't gonna have to deal with this until she was a teenager, but there you go. Parties at 2 a.m. She is kicking me, hiccuping. It's cute, but not at 2 a.m. All right, let's jump into the bump app. <laughs> According to the Bump App, baby is 17.2 inches long and 4.19 pounds. And she is as big as a stalk of celery. It's saying this is what I should expect for 34, 33 weeks. Shortness of breath. Yep. Nesting. Yes, I've definitely been noticing that I'm more in nesting mode. I want to start organizing and like getting projects completed. So I definitely feel like I'm starting to nest. Overheating. I actually have been noticing like the last couple of days that I have been getting warmer. And I don't know if it's just because the weather is getting a little bit better or if it's because of these hormone fluctuations but I have definitely noticed that I'm like more on the warmer side especially at night too I feel like I kind of have to like strip off my hoodie where normally I can keep it on all night long and at work too I've been noticing that I'm way hotter than I normally am when normally I'm always freezing there oh it said headaches and that's because of the large hormone fluctuation so that makes a lot of sense so that's probably why I've had a headache for the last three days forgetfulness. I have kind of noticed here and there, like I'll forget random things and I'll have to go back into the room that I was in in order to remember them again, but it hasn't been too bad. I feel like the first time around I was forgetting things left and right, but now I'm not really forgetting them as much, but sometimes I'm sure that'll heighten. Okay, so that's everything for my pregnancy update. So now I'm going to show you the bump, but that is everything for my symptoms for this week of pregnancy. I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. It really Really helps out my channel and thank you so much for watching I truly do appreciate you guys and just show you my appreciation I'm going to be doing a little surprise giveaway right now nothing huge but just a little token of my appreciation for you guys I am going to be giving somebody a $10 gift card to either Starbucks or Target or anywhere else of your choice just as long as I can give it to you via e-card so if you want to enter that make sure that you are subscribed so hit that red subscribe button and then leave me a comment down below with any kind of baby emoji in it. So I don't care which one, just make sure that there's a baby emoji in there somewhere and you will be entered. It's super easy. Thank you guys so much again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm looking at you. I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this Our hands touch once or twice Feeling kind of hypnotized I'm looking at you and I feel the tension You know, this could be like heaven I am right here, doing my best to make you feel like I do And just for a second You're looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too Give me your attention I'm trying to breathe but The air feels just like water You're making me weak now, what does